Elastic load balancing improves an application's availability by distributing incoming traffic between two or more Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 instances. Elastic load balancing routinely checks the health of each load balanced Amazon EC2 instance. If elastic load balancing finds an unhealthy instance, it stops sending traffic to the instance and reroutes traffic to healthy instances. To get the most out of this video, you should already have an account with Amazon Web Services, have signed up for Amazon EC2, and have created at least two Amazon EC2 instances with active HTTP servers. Important! The load balancer you're about to launch will be live and not running in a sandbox. This means that you will incur the standard elastic load balancing usage fees for the load balancer until you terminate it. The total charges will be minimal, typically less than a dollar if you complete the exercise described here in one sitting and delete your load balancer when you're finished. For more information about elastic load balancing usage rates, go to the Elastic Load Balancing product page. Defining a load balancer. To define a load balancer in the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 tab. Click Load Balancers in the navigation pane. The console displays the load balancers pane. Click Create Load Balancers. The Define Load Balancer page of the Create a New Load Balancer wizard opens. Enter a name for your load balancer. Leave the listener configuration set to the default value for this example. Important! The default settings require that your Amazon EC2 HTTP servers are active and accepting requests on port 80. Click Continue. Configuring the Health Check. The Configure Health Check page of the Create a New Load Balancer wizard opens. To configure the health check, set the configuration options for your load balancer. Leave ping protocol set to its default value of HTTP. Leave ping port set to its default value of 80. Elastic load balancing sends health check queries to the path you specify in ping path. This example uses a single forward slash so that elastic load balancing sends the query to your HTTP server's default home page, whether that default page is named index.html, default.html, or a different name. In the ping path field, replace the default value with a single forward slash. Leave the advanced options set to the default values. Click Continue. Adding EC2 Instances To add Amazon EC2 Instances, select the checkbox next to each instance that you want to add. Click Continue. The Review page of the Create a New Load Balancer wizard opens. Review your settings. You can make changes to the settings by clicking the Edit link for a specific step in the process. Important! After you create a load balancer, you can modify any of the settings except for load balancer name and port configuration. To rename a load balancer or change its port configuration, create a replacement load balancer. Click Create. The confirmation window opens. Click Close. The confirmation window closes, returning you to the load balancers page. Your load balancer now appears in the list. Select the checkbox next to your load balancer. A set of tabs opens with details about the load balancer. To test your load balancer, copy the DNS name value that is listed in the description tab and paste it into the address field of an internet connected web browser. If your load balancer is working, you will see the default page of your HTTP server. Normally, you'd continue using the load balancer. However, for the purposes of this video, we're going to show you how to terminate the load balancer immediately. Deleting a load balancer. As soon as your load balancer becomes available, you're billed for each hour or partial hour that you keep the load balancer running. After you've decided that you no longer need the load balancer, you can delete it. To delete your load balancer, select the checkbox next to the load balancer you want to delete then click Delete at the top of the Load Balancers page. The Delete Load Balancer window appears. Click Yes, Delete. Elastic Load Balancing deletes the Load Balancer. As soon as the Load Balancer is deleted, you stop incurring charges for that Load Balancer. Note, even after you delete a Load Balancer, the Amazon EC2 instances associated with the Load Balancer continue to run. You will continue to incur charges on the Amazon EC2 instances while they're running. Remember to terminate the instances if you no longer need them.